Hi guys, Vincent here. Welcome to a new Flowwork tutorial. This tutorial is about a sequence that we're gonna deconstruct in different ways for you to start bringing the words we're learning together in different ways. So this is studying the grammar behind the terminology you're learning, learning a sequence without analyzing the isolated movements inside it and their transitions from one to the other is not the fastest way to success. So a good thing when we start integrating sequences into our game, into our training sessions, consists in using the same movements, but in different ways, again and again and again, rather than building up a gigantic sequence that you will only be able to repeat as such. So in this series, the point is gonna be for us to explore a couple of movements in different ways and just bring them together in different ways and let our bodies understand how we can use them and transition from one to the other. Today we're going to be using the whip and see how the swinging leg from this movement actually offers us a lot of possibilities from the very momentum it allows us to generate. We're also going to be using a knee slide, a belly roll, and a variation of the bus. So let's start with the most simple. Make sure you are warm as usual. We're going to start in 1990 here and we're going to bring our hands to the side just to perform a simple belly roll. Halfway through the belly roll, we're going to stop as the second hip goes down. Extend this arm overhead to create space and roll on our back. From here, we're going to push on both feet to lift the pelvis off the ground. And from this position, we're going to shoot the pelvis towards the direction we're going, pushing on both feet and on this shoulder here. This hand here is trapped on the pelvis, as if you are trying to grab the opposite ankle. This position here allows us to bring this knee down, to slide the opposite foot, and to bring the hip down eventually. Once we are finished with this roll, we're gonna roll on our back once more. Bend the knees and come back up as we've done so many times before in the 1990. At first, you wanna do this step by step. Belly roll, extend the arm, roll. Bend, push, trap the arm, knee, foot, hip, Roll, bend, come back up. But as you get better, you want to be able to anticipate what's next and create a more and more organic motion. So the main idea is for us to start pushing on our feet once we are on our back just after the belly roll to anticipate this bus roll. Knees here, push already. you will notice that the feet keep sliding on the floor. Again, it's a waste of energy for us to be lifting the points of support of the floor for no specific reasons. We're now gonna see a variation of the cartwheel that is used in some form of contemporary dance and as well in break dancing. And this is very valuable for us because it's gonna teach us about a new way of aligning ourselves and we're going to be a bit more reliant on a bent arm position with the retracted scapula and the pelvis that is not aligned over the shoulders which means a closed angle shoulders which means the opposite of everything you've been learning when you were learning handstands if you have we're going to start for that in a squat and just lean forward Commit some weight on the hands, especially if you haven't warmed up properly, and come back to the feet. 
and really feel that relationship between the weight on your feet and the weight on our hands. Push, make the feet light, come back. And maybe push, push on the toes, come back. And maybe push and be slow on the way down. In the workshops I teach, we usually spend some time talking about the landing and seeing why the landing matters more than the height. So whatever happens here, even if your feet don't go too high, I would like you to bring your attention to the softness of your landing. If you can press up, this is also the time to warm up into your presses. Once we got this, we're gonna start extending the legs and kicking up more like a normal handstand as we swap the legs in the air. Hands down, kick swap, and down. Hands down, swing, and here. From there, we're gonna add some circular motion in our legs. Same starting position. Instead of swinging back, I'm gonna bring this leg to the opposite side. The right leg extends, travels towards the left before it swings off. Squat, hands, travel, push, and do swap the legs, which means that the first leg that took off the floor is the first leg that lands back on the floor. Right leg extends, travels to the left, goes up, comes back down first. Left leg extends, travels to the right, and back down. Again, attention is on your landing. One, two, one, One, two. As I said, this is a dancey circus variation of a cartwheel. So if the elbows are bending, it doesn't matter. If your toes are not pointed, it doesn't matter. If you want to bend your knees, that is fine. As long as your landing is on point. It is very important that you bring your extended leg as far as possible to the opposite side before your takeoff. The movement is not extend, go back and kick up, but really extend, go to the opposite side and then kick up. This is what will drive the initial twists in our bodies. We're gonna add a further twist. The leg that swings is gonna land on the opposite side. Not only does it take off from the opposite side, it will land there as well. If I extend the right, I wanna land that right foot as much as possible to the left. Have a look. Squat, left, bring the right leg here. Do not settle for aligning the right foot behind the right hand, bring the right foot behind the left hand. Here. Now we're gonna put this on the shelf somewhere in our minds and remember this whip movement. So starting from a lunging position, remember the way to prime our brains into remembering and doing this drill, this move is to lunge, opposite hand down, shoot the back leg, swap hands. Lunge, opposite hand down, back leg shoots forward, Swap hands, lunge, hands, and swap. I 
as you swap, you want to set your bum on that heel. Don't allow the heel to go down here. From there, we were swinging the extended leg backwards. Lunge, extend, swap hands. Shoot the extended leg backwards and come back up. Lunge, shoot, and slide. Lunge, shoot, and slide. And as you master the art of pivoting 180, we're gonna go for 360. So, lunge, shoot, I swap hands, and I try to bring, this is my pivot, the right foot, I try to bring the left foot back, all the way here. Lunge, swap, and here. For some people, it's gonna be more comfortable to swap the foot pivot with the knee pivot. Lunge, swap, bring this knee down, the bent knee down, and pivot around it to finish here. That is as well acceptable. And then the point of this motion was for us to never stop moving that back leg. We were lunging into it, and this leg was traveling all around. So we remember had the option to jump from that. Here, as we swap the hands, we can release the toes of this foot. And to practice the jump, you want to think about a step. So the front foot still has to go forward, but we're gonna swing it back, and at some point, push on the right foot to be for a split second with both feet off the floor. Here, whoop, there. I would advise you practice that swing back and forth a couple of times to get it. And then with momentum, Now the tricky part, bringing together the whip with this new dancing cart we've seen together. From this hand swap here, we are in the same position as we were when we were from our squats, extending the leg to the side. So from here, we're going to swing, remember, the extended leg backwards so that it gets as much as possible on the other side. And then take off and land it on this other side. So one step, two, shoot the leg, three, swap arms, four, swing, five, land, and here we are. From this position, we have to recognize that should we extend the back leg, we are in some form of a lunge. So I'm adding a bending on the front leg and I'm removing some of it in the back leg. And here we are in the lunge. From here, we can generate a knee slide. And for argument's sake, on this sequence, we're gonna slide until we find our sounds on our belly. So that's a long knee slide. Which means at the end of this first bit, once we anchor the foot of the extended leg, we can remove the hand on the same side and knee slide. And now we've done the hardest. It's just about bringing the pieces of the puzzle together. Once we find ourselves on the belly, we're going to come back up in a 90-90. Continue with the belly roll, and then, as we were doing before, push on the legs to lift that pelvis up, and finish with this 
scooping head boost motion. Belly. Come back up. Belly. Extend the arm. Up. 